What's up everybody, I'm the Man Goose, you are awesome, and today I'm going to sit down and talk to Sock App and Jacka about if Strange Matter and Omega Studios should merge Fault and Predecessor. I chose Sock and Jacka because Sock is just someone I talk to about this kind of stuff quite a bit, and Jacka just knows more about all of these para-zombies than anyone. We also talked about the morality of selling epic-created skins, but that will be in a different video. Alright, um... Sock App and Jack are joining me here for this uh, little conversation. Um, why don't you guys go ahead and introduce yourself? Tell us a little bit about yourself. Sock App, go ahead. Uh, I've been on the show what, like twice? Your show for the yeah. minions? Yeah. That's probably like pretty much like the height of my accomplishments in life. <laughs> 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 so, oh man, that's about it for me. Nah. <laughs> so, uh, other than that, man, just playing league. Unfortunately, waiting for uh, Predecessor and Fault and these games to come out, and uh, I'm excited to play them. So, and you have been playtesting Fault, right? Right, I have been playtesting Fault, and I am a playtester for uh, Predecessor. And what other? I don't know, Jacket. What other games are we playtesters for? It seems like there's a. Uh, I swear, I Jack knows how to hold people hostage. He's he's literally <laughs> figured out. I said this before, but he's literally figured out how to like stick a gun through the screen of the computer and have it come out the other side and be like, <laughs> "I'll end you, dude, if you don't <laughs> play test this Paragon remake." So, yeah. So my name's Jacka. Um, I come from a very strong FPS background, especially when I was younger. I used to be a competitive Gears of War player, and I started. When Paragon came out, you know, I was like, yeah, this looks pretty cool, you know? So I started picking it up and playing it. Liked it a lot. But yeah, me and Sock, we test, like, every single remake. We get in there, you know, somehow. It's because we're yeah. handsome. We got deep voice. Predecessor, Core, <laughs> Fault, um, Prime X, like, all those other ones. We're yeah. in them all. <laughs> we, were, we were even um, devs in uh, Agora. <laughs> we were. Agora. <laughs> At one point in time, so you know. <laughs> We were devs. And no I, shit. And, yeah, and was, <laughs> it's funny too because of uh, like Prime X is like Jon Snow's thing, and like literally, like I don't know why that guy likes me so much, but he like comes into my Discord and I told him that he was my favorite Korean player, and like he just fucking loves the shit out of me now. That guy, <laughs> Dude, he's honestly like one of the coolest Koreans. Like he's always so happy and like he's, excited. He's funny as shit, man. I want to get more into Prime X, but. It seems like he uses Google Translate whenever I talk to him, yeah. and, I, and I really yeah. can't understand what he's talking about a lot of times, and I don't want to like put out. That's a what makes it so good, dude. Bullshit. You should just make a Google Translate video interview with him. <laughs> be like all over the fucking place, you know what I mean? Oh, that would be great. That's a good idea. I might do it. <laughs> yeah, his translations are really hard to get in, but you know what? We'll see what happens when more time comes with his company. Right. <laughs> we've got we've got Smokey in the chat. I just wanna I just wanna let Smokey know that uh that guy is now a uh, a uh, SoundCloud rapper. So you should check him out. Is that Exilaroy? Uh, yeah, that was the that was gonna be the new name of the Paragon map that he made, but now it's his rapper name. Oh which, yeah, Jesus. Uh, yikes. Yeah, check it out. SoundCloud Exilaroy. His single is called Anxiety. Don't plug that shit. <laughs> I'll, tell, I'll tell you guys what. <laughs> If the Paragon information was a race, Jacka would be on the inside track and like fucking three laps ahead of everybody else. <laughs> yeah, like most be. of the fucking shit that I know is because Jacka told me. So <laughs> yeah, I just get in there and data mine shit without having any access. Yeah, it's pretty amazing. <laughs> so what I wanted to talk about today, a couple topics. I want to talk about is it wise for like a predecessor and fault to merge, Strange Matter and Omega to merge? And then I also wanted to talk about the um, morality of selling skins that Epic created, which uh, I know a lot of us have very differing opinions on that, so that should be a fun one. But let, first, let's talk about the... Um, I have been very outspoken before about how I don't think any of these companies should merge because they would have to abandon progress. They would have to... It would set them back. Um you know, creative differences would cause splits in the company. Uh, I think it's actually a good idea, though, for Strange Matter and Omega to merge, make a make Strange Omega or something like that. Strange Omega, because they the they seem to complement each other's shortcomings, 
and kind of shore up everything. And they're both small companies, so it wouldn't be like a huge merger. There would be plenty of room for for, for people within both. So, I and mean, what do you guys think? What do you think, Suck Up? I mean, yeah, I I guess I agree with the fact that you know, like, so I haven't played uh, any predecessors since um, kind of the first uh, closed alpha or whatever and i know that jacka has played some and says that it's out of all of them it's the most kind of smooth experience which is kind of like what re is really important to me in any of these types of games uh is is how smooth it is um but i do know that f fault anyway i mean obviously we just found out about it not too too long ago but playing it it's kind of got all of the you know, maps working, scoreboards working, item systems, you know, working for the most part. All the kind of functions, different facets of the game are, are kind of there and, and working uh, pretty well. Um, so I agree that they kind of would kind of cover each other's faults because the, the one thing that I do see with fault is that even though it's got all these things working and it's relatively smooth, it's still got like a ways to go and uh, kind of the smoothness, you know, of the game itself so i don't know i mean it could be a good move i don't know if uh because it just depends on smoky and uh omni i don't know who omni not yeah who heads up faults kind of stuff omni not's so, the one i talk to the most i don't know if he heads it up or not okay jack i guess know? uh i don't exactly know who is like the leader leader but maybe it's a joint type operation where they all came together as far as I could tell. But at the end of the day, I think both companies could come to together, but if they have the same idea, mm -hmm. right? Cause at, at the end of the day, Smokey is his company, they're their company. Right. And I will say without saying too much about the last play test we did with the predecessor, I could tell you right now, I was really impressed with what they put together. I can tell you from experience, map design, Fringe is doing an amazing job. The animations, like the character's abilities, top notch. Like that's the closest thing I've played so far that's to Paragon. I know a lot of people saying Fault is, but they haven't tried yet what Smokey has coming for you guys. Just, just wait. Even though both games are great, just wait till both of them exceed a little bit more. Right. I mean, it's very clear to me that, that both companies have a good idea of what they're doing right like they've because like made if, a good amount of progress so if i could i would take the item system from fault and put it into predecessor and i'll i'll be the most happiest dude yeah yeah they're i'm getting a little bit of reverb from from, from you jack uh, um almost like you're coming through somebody else's headset or something i'm not probably sure. man i'm fucking deaf uh, let me... Yeah, that's definitely Sock's headset. He has me up too loud. Wait, how the fuck? Okay, this <laughs> this is gonna be a uh... right click. Me turn me down. A test here. Oh shit! Wait, wait, it won't even let me. Wait a minute. Wow, I'm so dumb. Sock, just right click my name, my picture. Yeah, no, no, try it, try it. <laughs> there, I think I got it. <laughs> But, Say something, Boomer. Yeah, 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 that's pretty good. Yeah, <laughs> but yeah, I, I I totally agree. Fault's item system is really, really good. Um, like it's it's very close to what people expect out of a MOBA. I think that's one of the things that kind of it turned a lot of people away from Paragon. A lot of the a lot of the big creators and stuff. I mean, like um. He had like Mithimu, who I'd never heard of until people accused me of trying to be like Mithimu. But he's he's a big smite creator. And he was turned away from Paragon because of the item system. They, he didn't like the card system. I think if any of these um, para zombies are to succeed, they need to have, a, have something more similar that other people coming in from other MOBAs can identify with and are a little more more familiar with but with a twist yeah. and that's exactly what fault did they have that twist with the aspect system where you pick your aspect you know one of well two of several aspects at the beginning right. of the game 
Right, and that plays into the kind of the thing that I find that's interesting about it, and that I like about the uh, item system that they have in in a uh, fault is that it's kind of even if you get like to full build or whatever, there's still kind of like scaling off of the favor system. Mm -hmm. So like even you know even if you're full build, like taking certain objectives still has like an impact. You know what I mean? There's yeah, you still can like, always keep getting stronger. Right. Which there's is nice. still a, a scaling system even late game. There's a scaling system or end game, I should say. There's a scaling system. So. You know, that could be like a snowballing mechanic, but it doesn't seem to be that snowball. It just kind of adds like a little extra small benefit. Um, so anyway, I don't know. I, I like the way that they've done that. And I don't know of any other MOBA that has anything like the favor system. Yeah, so. we've been talking about it for the past few days now. Like we have people in our Discord already theory crafting like what items we can build, what will stack on each other. Mm -hmm. And it's getting pretty nuts, and we haven't even touched the tip of it yet. Right. And I, and also, I don't think that their item system with the favor, I don't think that that would be, like, too hard to balance either. Like, it it, it provides, like I said, a, a minor scaling towards in-game or, or throughout the game, but I don't think that that's something that could... Uh, I don't know. I don't think that it's, like, too crazy. By the time some of those items have the potential of granting you like pretty much like immunity to slows a hundred percent. I think, I don't know how that works, but there's one that if you had like 28 favor, the boots it, you would have a hundred percent slow reduction. So I would assume that that just makes slows like nullified for you. There's other ways to get like a hundred percent crit off of tokens and stuff like that. But late game, that's kind of cool. I think, cause then you will have, kind of uh characters that scale like real hard off of that shit so. and if it becomes an issue that's something later on in the game where they can make a mechanic where they put a cap on this is how much percent right. you could top out at on right. this attack speed or this crit or this movement speed which only if it becomes an issue right but yeah definitely their their item system is really good and and like you're saying jacka uh, you know if predecessors the the smoothest you know, it'd be if they merge things like that. You know, if they brought the item system to predecessor that they have in fault, then you know that would be a really good experience. Um, with let them. me also say, was, I don't know the complete item system yet in predecessor because everything is still a placeholder as right. far as what we know. You know, without their end game, but as far as the card system compared to the item system. Item systems easier for newer MOBA, new MOBA players to come in from other games, like especially if, you know League or any of the others. Like the tree system is simple. Like people know about that stuff in all different genres of games with the tree system, right? And it makes everything available to everybody too, right? Which I think exactly. is very important. And then so. the, the 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 kind of thing I had with it was. Um, I, I totally agree with Jack. Uh, Predecessor felt way more complete and smooth the last time I played it, which was uh, like a month, month and a half ago, something like that. It just felt it felt be way better than than Fault feels right now. I'm not shitting on Fault in any way. They're ju they they're just now starting their play testing, but um, I think the 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 big advantage for Fault though is that they have eleven playable heroes, whereas Predecessor right. only has the five. I think if th these guys obviously know how to program heroes, how to how to work with gas and how to make everything work, um, it would be nice to see them go to Omega and help Omega program more and more heroes. Um, I don't know about their level designer. Like Fringe is just such a great fucking map designer and and everything. But his he everything Fringe does is very aesthetically pleasing. Um, I think the guys over at Fault did a great job of making everything gameplay wise very pleasing. Like you can tell right. that they paid close attention to how you would react to somebody coming out of a fog wall, how you'd react to somebody coming around this wall, that sort of thing. Whereas Fringe is mainly just kind of trying to emulate what was Legacy and Monolith, and um, I think he could benefit a little bit from from their knowledge a bit. I'm not again not shitting on fringe, just saying his 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 work is way more aesthetically pleasing. 
Um, but I think Fault did a little bit better job with their map design. I think if you combine the two, it would just be fucking incredible. Um, I Agreed. Like I said, I've spoke out so much against the mergers in the past, but I really think it would be a great idea for these two guys to merge. Yeah, I think, I mean, at the end of the day, I mean, this, I think, have to look at, like, what is the benefit for them merging, exactly, right? Yeah. Like, if, if they do merge, are they going to be able to work together well uh, with a larger team? I mean, certainly they probably could have more progress, you know, or complete things faster. Um, they will have to uh, kind of lose progress initially, but it, it, if them merging like you know brings a game out faster than you know them just being on their own you know it might be worth it for them because honestly i feel like kind of the first person that makes i mean it's how long has it been now what like two years right yeah. almost yeah yeah it's so like that. yeah so like people you know, of course there's always going to be interest there but like there's a lot of people that have kind of moved on right you know to other things so the longer it goes, the less player base you're gonna have, I think, initially. Um, you know, so I, f I feel like the the first kind of company that comes out with something that is playable and is actually like at a decent uh, level of gameplay, where it you know is similar to how Paragon was, uh, with the with the smoothness and how responsive things felt, and has like an actual complete, well-rounded game. Like that person's probably gonna anything that comes out after that is probably gonna have a rough time essentially is what i'm saying if yeah. it's like another paragon clone i think the first one that that hits the finish line is probably gonna be the one that sticks around yeah that's yeah. like another thing we can come back to is uh we have the so many projects come out and like we have we have some buddies right they're really high level players and like they hear us talk about a new a new project and they're like haha you know they laugh it off because they're just like it's a joke right but when we see this new company, Fault, come out of nowhere, they're focusing on gameplay. And that is like one of the most important things that you need in a MOBA. And that we've seen how the gameplay is just from our first test, and it was phenomenal. Like, if you can combine the Omeda Studios somehow with Fault, it would be great. Like, they would benefit a lot from it, but as long as they're able to get together and like not butt heads, that's right. that's like the number yeah. one thing you don't want in a company. Then you'll have other companies like some other ones, you know, not to be mentioned. Like core, what, what the fuck's going on with that shit? <laughs> I didn't want to say that, but you know, yeah. <laughs> I'll well, say I mean, it, it happened to Visionary you. as well. I mean, that's that's what brought Visionary yeah. kind of down. I mean, they're still working on their shit, but they had gameplay though. Yeah, they did. They really did. Yeah. They were very far in the, into the process. I, mm -hmm. I can't it's wait till they come out with something. They're, it, it will it will happen eventually. Yeah, I kind they, of got off on a visionary about. tangent there. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I, I think that I mean, bring up another good point is the the, the player base. Um, each company is competing for a fraction of the player base. That's only a fraction of the player base that was devoted to Paragon. Um, and merging would merge those, you know, those two fractions of the player base too. Um, I think that's very important right now. I think that's a huge concern for a lot of people out there is that everything's being broken up so much that nobody is going to succeed because everybody's competing with each other. Oh, God, I can't remember the name. Somebody in my Discord, oh, I can't remember the name right now, made the perfect reference. It's like Game of Thrones. Like, like, right. The White Walkers are coming from the north, but all these motherfuckers are bickering and fighting amongst, amongst <laughs> each other. Yeah, exactly. Well, the way I look at it, right, is like all these things are like you know stores, right, and they're waiting for the the new fucking iPhone or whatever the fuck people are into these days. You know, and the first one that gets that shit is getting everybody. I mean, everybody's gonna go to that store. You know, the first one that that opens their doors and starts selling that shit. You know, yeah. they're not gonna go anywhere else. So, I mean, I I think that. If you if you come out with a game, a Paragon game that's smooth and playable, like like Fault that has like a lot of like well rounded parts to it and is thought out and kind of built for like a competitive environment, then you're gonna nab everybody in the in the community that was interested in playing Paragon to begin with. Yeah, definitely. And they'll definitely. stick around and play your game, you know, and 
if another one comes that and that's the thing too is that if you if you build something that has like a high skill ceiling and it comes out first right people are going to play it and they're going to start to get good at it and then when another one comes out they're going to be like well i've already invested you know in this one and this one's doing great so why should i you know give this one any time you know they may play it a few times but if it's not as good as the first one or you know if it's not as far along as the first one development wise that nobody's gonna pay attention to it so right. you know I, I mean honestly if they're not you know if, if Smokey thinks that he can do it better on his own and get a game out and it's gonna be better than fault by all means I think he should do that you know but if they're either one of them are worried about the risk of any of that happening where somebody else releases a game and then nobody pays attention to their game then a merger might be just beneficial to both of them that way that they neither one of them kind of gets left in the dust i guess yeah, yeah so. exactly well I, I mean i used to say that whichever one of these games makes it to the playstation network first will be the one to succeed but i think anymore <laughs> by the time any of these games make it to console, everybody PS6 will have forgotten about it. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. I just want to make a public service announcement. Console guys, they love Motherf you so much, but don't listen to any of them say none of it's going to be released on PS4. You're thinking no. maybe PS5. Okay. The PSN launch, maybe. A game has to succeed on PC first and get balanced on there first as well. Yeah. I just want to tell them to buy a damn PC. <laughs> if, you want to play, if you want to play paragon you better you better just buy a pc to be honest with you that's that's the only way that you're going to play any of these so start hooking or whatever you got to do start slinging <laughs> start some, hooking and slinging advice some, from soccer dope. Yeah. sell don't your ass them. and sell drugs <laughs> <laughs> very nice yeah, don't do that don't actually do that it pays the rent for God a damn it. <laughs> Man, that would be an expensive blowjob. It would be. For a 2080, shit. Yeah. That'd be goddamn worth it. Jeez. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm sitting there debating whether or not that's worth it in my yeah, head. Yeah, next topic. Let's <laughs> debate whether it's worth it to suck a dick for a 2080 Ti. <laughs> How All much right. is it? It's like, it's like 300, 400 bucks, right? Well, way more what? Than yeah, it's like a thousand oh, bucks. It? Oh, is it? Yeah. Well, then yes. 100%. 100%. DM me. <laughs> no, just kidding. Just kidding. I actually, I need to go it, grab another beer. Yeah, I'll be right yeah. back. <laughs> All right. Mangoo.